All right. Good morning. Good morning. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let me try this again. Good afternoon. <laughs> Oh my goodness, it's been a day. All right, we're gonna start off our class. Let's start marching. We got our 60 minute cycle, circuit core cycle. I don't know, are we cycling today? Maybe we are, who knows? All right, we're circuit core today. Let's go ahead and start off with some marches. We've got a great class today. We have got quite a bit of work to do as we usually do. So we're gonna get through around three circuits today. We're gonna come down to our core for the last little bit of class and then we're gonna stretch it out. So we're gonna zip through this like we always do one effort at a time 45 second effort 15 second recovery transition time and then we're going to get on to the next effort so first round i want you to take this first time as a little bit of a learning phase kind of see what it feels like in your body as you're going through the second and third circuit you'll see what you want to add or what you want to take off okay all right let's go ahead and we take this into a little side step in five four three two one all right land those feet bend those knees step it out right side only nice job good pull those shoulders back stand up tall through the spot beautiful keep that left knee bent just stepping it out beautiful let's invite our arms into it reach pull reach pull that's it good nice just body weight, little bit of upper body here. Just get a little bit of mobility in through the arms. Good, stay with me here. We're gonna switch sides in five, four, three, two, one, and switch. Nice job, here we go. Step it out, nice job. Give me two seconds, continue where you are because Siri just heard me say something and it stopped the music on my side. <laughs> so keep going, I don't know what's going on here. All right, here we go. Keep going. <laughs> Beautiful. That happens once in a while. Siri just hears something and says, hey, I'm here. I'll help you. Good job. Beautiful. Pull it in. Nice little row here. Fantastic. Stay with me for another five. We're going to alternate sides. Three, two, one. Here we go. Whew. A little coordination with the arms. Good job. Row it in. Good. Now we're going to add a little bit to this warm up here with our arms. So we're going to pull it in, open up. Pull it in, open up. Pull it in, open up. Good job. Woo. Good. Open. Good. Got to get those shoulders in. Good. Nice job. Beautiful. Now let's go ahead. We're gonna take our arms long, bring them forward and bring them to the side. Here we go, open, reach, good job. Beautiful, let's take a little tempo here. That's it, nice job. Woo, beautiful, you're looking so great, ladies. Come on, that's it, nice little warm up here. Beautiful, stay with me for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five four three two one let's march it out nice job Woo! hopefully you're feeling already a little bit of heat building make sure your breath is nice and fluid you shouldn't feel out of breath here beautiful all right we're going to take it with a punch and a heel kick to the floor in three two one here we go kick and kick kick and kick so my heels touching the ground beautiful that's it beautiful kick kick nice job good little internal rotation of that fist bringing it in towards the heart kicking it out good job beautiful nice job keep it going beautiful all right, 15 seconds left. Let's pick it up. Double time in three, two, one. Here we go. One, two, one, two. Good. A little more tempo. That's it. Nice job. Woo. Beautiful. Five, four, three, two, one. March it out. Nice job. Take those arms out, stretch them overhead, then bring them into a strong T. Start your arm circles. Pull up those knees. Nice job, stay here for 15. 
Beautiful. Excellent. Keep those shoulders, keep the jaw soft, keep your gaze soft. Pull up. We're going to reverse our direction in three, two, one. Other way. Nice job. Maybe it feels a little different here. Notice if you got any kinks you got to work out, try to keep those neck muscles nice and soft. So as we start straining through the upper body, I want you to be nice and soft here. Stay with me. Almost there. Four, five, four, three, two, one. Settle those arms down. Plant those feet. Nice job. Take that left, right foot out to a, an upside down V. Feet are going to face forward. Nice wide stance. Kick it back. Back through center. Other side. So depending on how it feels on your body, maybe you want to go in a little wider. But I want you to make sure your front body still facing forward, not rotating through the spine, kicking your bum back, getting a little dynamic movement in here. Woo, feels good. Nice job. Beautiful. A little side lunge here. Good work on the glutes. Great work on the inner thighs. You've got it. Stay with me. Almost there. Good. All right. Let's do four more. Beautiful. Good. Last one on each side. And back up through center. Nice job. Stay here. Bring your feet in. Bring them out. Bring it in. Bring it out. You know it's coming. Bring it in. Bring it out. All right. We're going to pick up that tempo in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 30 seconds. Let's go. Open and close. In and outs here. Woo! Nice little bend of that knee. Strong through the upper body. 10 seconds in. 20 to go. That's it. Woo! 15. Great energy. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and march it out. Woo! Beautiful. All right. All right, stay with me here for five. We're going to plant our feet, grab some water, and get into our main set. Three, two, one. Settle it down. Nice job. Beautiful. Well done. Awesome job. Okay, so our first round is going to be a curtsy to a squat to a curtsy on the other side. So we're going to take it to a curtsy, back through center, squat, curtsy on the other side. Now the weights, totally optional to have weights here for your um, little isometric hold here. I'm going to hold mine kind of at my chest area. Now when you go into your curtsies, remember it's a slight external rotation of that leading leg. That other leg is planted down to the ground. I don't want to see any rotation there. You want to keep those knees nice and strong and safe. When we come back through center, feet facing forward into your squat, land into that opposite foot, and repeat on the other side. All right, let's get ready. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. So a little squat in between. Both sides, that's it. Nice and steady. Beautiful. Tall through the spine. Beautiful, we are 20 seconds in, 25 to go. Woo, beautiful. That's it. Fantastic. All right, keep it going for 10. Nine, eight, that's it. Keep going. Three, two, and one. Woo! Nice job. Fantastic. Well done. All righty. So next we're going to take it into a sumo squat with a little front punch. So we're going to come down into a sumo. We're going to punch and reach down through center, punch and reach. You'll have a little internal rotation as you extend your arm out. We'll bend in between, 
press it out. I'm going light on the weights here. I'm gonna pick up some tempo as we go through, okay? Here we go, five, four, three, two, one. Bend those knees, lift and press. Beautiful. Make sure you're wide through the knees so that when you look over, right or left side, you've got those knees tracking with those two big toes. Inner thighs working, bring them together. Squeeze those glutes. Beautiful. 10 seconds, we're gonna double time it. If you want to, try not to snap it through the knees, lengthen through the legs. Five, four, three, two, one. Double time, pick it up, boom, boom. Beautiful. Remember, this is optional. You choose to take it or leave it. Five, four, three, two, one, and slow it down. Nice job, fantastic. All right, excellent job. Woo! All right, I'm gonna grab some water. We're gonna go into some isometric lunges next. Really not much going on in the legs, just some endurance strength work. And we're gonna do some cross body bicep curls for the first round. Second round, do some tricep kickbacks. So grabbing your weights, I'm gonna begin with a right foot back, left foot forward, and I'm gonna get myself into a low lunge. You can go to a high lunge as well if that feels better. Now from this point, we're gonna lean in, hip bones are facing forward, cross body, bicep curl. So we're getting the upper body, we're getting the lower body. Here we go, three, two, one, let's do it. Right through that midline, keep your abs slightly pulled in, nice job. Woo, feeling this heat building my body. It's like a little pot of water on the stove. 15 seconds and 30 to go. Beautiful. You got it. Nice job. Woo, come on. All right, 15. That's it. That's it, you got it. 10. Beautiful. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Nice job, fantastic. All right, I don't know about you, but that gave my bottom of my foot a nice stretch too, which is always nice. All right, right foot forward, left foot back. This time, I want you to angle yourself like an airplane. Lean in, back is long, abs are pulled in, elbows tucked in. We're gonna go in for our kickbacks. Three, two, one, here we go. Remember, gaze is always forward here. That's it. One effort at a time. Stick with it. Beautiful. That's it. 15. No, it's not true. 20 to go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now we got 10. Nine. Beautiful. We got it. Six. Four. Three. Two and one, nice job, Woo! fantastic, excellent job. All right, let's drop those weights. All right, next we're gonna do some straight up body work here, body weight work, no weights. Now, we're gonna go into some prisoner squats. If this does not feel good for your body, you're absolutely welcome to rest your hands at your side. If you wanna add some weights, cause that's what you wanna do today, go ahead and add them, it's your choice. We're gonna do a prisoner squat with a heel lift. So we're gonna get the calves worked as well, all right? Hands overhead, feet a little wider than the hip distance apart, down and then up, here we go. Three, two, one, down. Lift, lift the heels, drop the heels, down. Lift, lift, down. Beautiful, good. Yes, well done. A little bit of balance work there, always good. Beautiful. Proud of you. Come on, 15 seconds, let's do it. Beautiful, 10, nine, eight, woo, five, Come on, three, two, and one. Woo! Relax those arms, nice job. So just that act of bringing your arms overhead, 
can feel like a nice stretch for the upper body. So hopefully that felt all right. All right, next we're gonna take it into a fly here. So we're gonna go into a bent over position. Grab your weights that you feel comfortable with for flies. <sighs> Beautiful. All right, so always start from hinging from the hips. Back is long, then bend into the knees. Arms are gonna be straight forward. Now this time we're gonna take it slightly up and then open up into a little bit of an upside down V. And you'll notice, I've got my arms externally rotated here, back through base. Pull the shoulder blades back, here we go. Open and close. Some great work through the back of the body here, getting those rhomboids and traps all nice and worked out here. Beautiful. That's it, nice job. Woo! I don't know about your house, but my house is so humid right now. It just needs to rain. Woo! Beautiful. That's it, 15 seconds. Getting some good glute work in here too, and quad work. Beautiful, 10. Excellent. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Woo! Nice job. Fantastic. Awesome. All right, lovelies. We are going to take it down to the floor. We've got two efforts down on the floor, three in total because we're going to do one leg and then the other. We're going to come down for a supine fly. So we're going to be opening up and working through the chest for those. Then we're going to do a single leg bridge. So 45 on one, 45 on the other. So we'll be down there for three efforts. So make sure that your mat, I'm gonna have to adjust mine, is far enough away from anything that might be a little bit of a, um, a little bit of a, in your way. So just make sure you make any adjustments you necessary. So coming down to the floor, flies, great to strengthen the pectoralis minor and major. So, we're going to lie down on our back, knees are going to bend, feet are going to be flat down to the floor. Always make sure that spine is nice and neutral when we get onto the spaces so that our back is taken care of. So reaching up tall, shoulder blades are flat to the floor, three, two, one, open. Exhale, close. Beautiful. Keep your gaze up to the sky. Big open, big close. Beautiful. Try not to strain. Fantastic. Excellent. 15 seconds to go. Beautiful, five, four, three, two, and one, and rest. Nice job, set those weights off to the side, well done. All right, now we're gonna be doing some bridges next. Now we're gonna be doing some single leg bridges. However, I wanna say this is just a little caveat. If you don't feel stable through your pelvis and singling one leg up, doesn't feel supported, I highly encourage you just to do some regular bridges. You'll have to do two rounds, but that's all right. So make sure your feet feel grounded to the earth. So I'm gonna go ahead and lift my right leg up. You can bend your knees if that feels better, especially if your hamstrings are feeling a little tight today. Draw your heels in a little closer towards your glute, flex in that leg and lift. Here we go. And lower. <sighs> Uh, it's almost like I'm flexing towards the sky. I imagine I'm touching a little button in the air here as I lift and lower. Pressing into that left foot. Just be careful you're not hiking through one hip to kind of facilitate more of a lift. So try to keep the hips even. Good. Ton of work in the glutes here and hamstrings. Beautiful, 10 seconds left. That's it, nice job. Five, four, three, two, and one. Set yourself down, let that right leg rest down to the floor, flex in through that left heel, 
Let's get ready in three, two, one. Here we go. Last set on the floor. Lift and lower. Now remember, we shouldn't feel any strain in the back here. Keep your core slightly engaged so you're controlling the lowering movement. You're not just letting your body float down without any work. You're getting the glutes nice and worked and the hamstrings nice and worked out. Beautiful. Good, you've got it. That's it. Keep going for 10, nine, five, and rest. Come on down. Nice job. Beautiful. Let's take a little knees to chest to bring that low back and lengthen it out a little bit. Fantastic. So that was our circuit for today. We're going to rinse, wash, and repeat from the beginning. And now we've got all the tools we have in our toolbox to decide if we want to make any adjustments for our efforts today. If you felt like it was enough, then that's good. That's the right thing for you, right? So don't feel like you have to make any adjustments if you feel like you're right where you need to be today. I'm just going to adjust that a little bit. All right, so we're going to come back to the beginning with those curtsy squat curtsies. Make sure you've got some water in you. Beautiful. All righty. So curtsy lunges to squat to curtsies. Weight just centered as a little bit of a little isometric hold. All right, here we go. In three, two, one, let's do it. Remember, you go at your own pace here. And make sure there's no rotation through that knee. I can't emphasize that enough. So make sure when you're going into those curtsy squats, you're coming back enough so that your knee is tracking on top of that ankle and your knee is kind of planted in space here. That's it, you guys look great. Beautiful. Excellent, 15 seconds. Good. 10, nine, woo, five, three, two, one, and rest. Nice job. Fantastic. Excellent. All right. From here, we're going to go into our sumos for our front punches. Nice and wide, externally rotate the hips. Arms are here. Three, two, one, bend and press. Good. Nice and wide. Press to the heels. Make sure you're not pressing too much into the tip of the shoes here. Good. 15 seconds. In. Beautiful. Good. Stay tall through those shoulders. As you're coming back up, lift tall. That's it. 15 seconds left. We're going to pick up the time in three, two, one. Here we go. One, two, one, two. Maybe a little bit faster, just by a hair. Six, five, four, three, two, one. And rest. Nice job. Woo! Nice job. Woo. All righty. Well done. We're going to take this and transition to our isometric lunge for our crossbody bicep curls. Grab your weights. So it doesn't matter to me where you want to start. It's entirely up to you. You can choose. Get yourself settled into your lunge, nice and tall through the upper body. Shoulders roll back. Three, two, one. Here we go. So there's a little lift of the belly button to help stabilize through the low back. So just keep yourself just cognizant of that area. You're not arching through the low back. Good. Knee is nice and bent over that ankle. Gaze is forward. Good, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. 
relax. Woo, shake that off. Well done, beautiful. All right, we're gonna take it into a tricep kickback into an isometric lunge on the other side. So right foot forward, left foot back, if you did the right foot back first. Now when you lean in, shift back into that back heel, bend into the front knee, get into yourself into an airplane position. Three, two, one, here we go. Again, you got a little engagement of the core here. Just keep it, keep it there. Like bring that awareness to it. Beautiful. Great. Almost there. Whoop. 15 seconds. Ten, three, two, and one. Nice job. Woo! Beautiful. Fantastic. Excellent. Set those weights down. Beautiful. Excellent. Take a little water break if you need one. We're going to go into our prisoner squats with our heel lifts. Great job, everyone. Awesome. All right. Reach up, interlace the fingers. You can always place your hands here if this feels too intense. Three, two, one, here we go. You're looking great. Great job. I lost that heel lift. <laughs> Good. Beautiful. 15 seconds. Make sure you get those glutes turned on. Beautiful. 11. Almost there. Stay with me. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Relax the arms. Whoo. This is quite a lot of work on the upper body, just holding your arms there. Alrighty. So now we're going to work the back side in our flies, that slight external rotation of the arms. <sighs> Beautiful. All right. Cry chop from those hips down. Arms are slightly lifted so you're high enough so that you can open up to an upside down V. Three, two, one. Here we go. <sighs> Try to just flow with your breath here. Never hold your breath. Keep that breath nice and fluid the whole time. Beautiful. 15 in. You got it. Keep it going. Nice job. Great. 15 seconds. Almost there. Excellent. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Fantastic. Excellent. Well done. Great. All right. That was our main set standing. We got three more efforts down on the floor. We're going to go right into those presses, those uh, chest openers, and then our single leg bridges. <sighs> Alrighty. Down on the floor. Here we go. Settle those shoulder blades down. Three, two, one. Here we go. Beautiful, 15 and 30 to go. Just observe what's happening. Like, do you feel anything specific that, you know, might be straining? Just keep some awareness of your body here. Make sure you're not muscling through. This is quite an intense effort for the chest. You wanna be really just cognizant of what and how it feels. Five, four, three, 
two, and one. Nice job, fantastic. All right, set those weights off to the side. Well done, great. All right, let's get ready to go into those single leg bridges. So make sure core is on, heel in towards the glutes. Let's go ahead and reach our right leg up. Three, two, one, let's go. Press into that left heel. Keep that right hip from kind of hiking up. Nice and neutral. You got it. 20 in. Looking great. Great. About seven seconds left. Three, two, and one. Set your arm leg down. Give yourself a break here. Nice job. Reset. Make sure that everything feels good and supported. Left leg up. Three, two, one. Let's go. So this is really, again, one of those exercises where you may notice a different side and how it feels, a range of motion ways, maybe strength ways, maybe just mobility. So like I could tell you that I've got a little bit more strength in my right leg and this really feels a little different than my left. Some great information that you get from that. Great. Beautiful, about 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, and one. Set your sacrum down and relax. Nice job. Knees in. Woo, lengthen out that low back. Beautiful. Excellent. All right, we're done with round two. We're gonna finish up with one more round and then we're just gonna get a little bit of core work in there and then we're gonna move on with our evening. So let's do this thing. Okay. All right, team. We're back to curtsy lunges with lunges with squats to curtsy lunges. Got through that pretty quickly. We're going to get through the sec third round and bang it out for the night. All right. Let's get ready. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's do it. Great. Looking great. One to the other, nice and strong. Beautiful. That's it. Good, 15. You got it, 10. Come on. Great, five. Four, three, two, and one. Woo! Fantastic. I don't know about you, but I'm kind of happy those are done. <laughs> I saw Lulia laughing. She's like, yeah, me too. <laughs> All right. Let's get those sumos with the punches out next. All right. Again, body weight perfectly fine for this. Make sure it feels good for you. Three, two, one, bend and punch. Here we go. Make sure, squeeze into those glutes, inner thighs. Woo! Come on. <laughs> You're looking great. Fantastic. Woo! Good, stay with me, 15. Good, 10. Come on, let's pick up that tempo. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Nice job. Whoo, excellent. Well done. Oh yeah. 
All right, bicep to our lunges. So grab what you got. All right, set yourself up for success. Just plant your feet. All righty, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, let's go. I'm brave. Don't you love that? I'm brave. That's what she said. I'm brave. Yeah. We are brave. Woo! That's it. Beautiful. 20 seconds. Come on. 15. 10. Come on. Five, four, three, two, and one. Rest. Woo! Nice job. All right. Let's get set up. Other side. All right. Here we go. Tricep kickbacks. Let's do it. I'm brave. Come on. Yes. That's it. For those of you who are maybe watching this at a later time, <laughs> there's a song that's saying I'm brave and that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I think I'm crazy in this video. All right. Come on. 30 in. 15. I would sing it, but I don't want to turn. I want you to press pause. <laughs> Keep going. Eight, seven. Come on, come on. Stay with me. Three, two, one, and rest. Excellent. Well done. Fantastic. All righty. All right. We got some prisoner squats with some heel lifts next. We're almost at the halfway point. We got just a little bit more to go. Let's get ready. Oh, in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. So brave. Beautiful. Good. 30 to go. Come on. Lift those heels up, get those calves nice and fired up here. Beautiful. 20 seconds. Come on. Woo! 15. Stay with me, team. You got it. Good. 10. Come on. Woo! Beautiful. Six, five, three, two, and one. Woo! Rest. <laughs> nice job. We did it. All right. We got those flies. Then we're coming down to the floor. Three more efforts and we're done for the circuit part. We're going to move into a little bit of core next. Here we go. Three, two, one. Here we go. This can be like a bit of a dynamic movement too, right? We got a bit of weights here, but think of this as an opportunity to open up through the chest. Beautiful. Breathe in, breathe out. Keep it going. That's it. That's it. You got it. Beautiful. 15. Come on. 10, 9, come on, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and rest. Woo! Fantastic. Well done. Excellent job. Woo! Oh, yeah, it's a hot one today. All right, we're going to bring it down.
Okay, perfect timing, guys. What a great job we're doing tonight. All right, let's take this into a supine position. <laughs> Chest flies here. Feet flat, shoulder blades flat. Three, two, one, let's go. I have to be honest with you, I actually don't even care that I'm doing my upper body here because at least I'm lying down. I, don't know, I just feel like I want to just be on the floor here for a minute. <laughs> Suddenly this effort doesn't feel so bad just because we're lying down a little bit. Good. Beautiful. 20 seconds. Come on. Excellent job. 15. 10. Five, th three, two, and one. You did it. Well done. Excellent job. All righty. 90 seconds left. All right. Let's start with the right foot first. Put that left foot in a little closer. Energize through the heel. Three, two, one. Here we go. Now, if you're looking for a little bit more of a challenge on this one, this is pretty challenging. I won't lie to you. Like, for me, this is quite a lot. But if you want a little more, don't go all the way down to the ground. Do a halfway lower and a halfway lift. It's going to give your glutes that much more kind of resistance, if you will, with a little bit less rest. So feel free if you want to take that on. That's entirely up to you. 10 seconds left. Make sure your hip bones are even. Five, four, three, two, and one. Set it back down. Nice job. Woohoo. Okay, left leg up. Energize to that right heel. Three, two, one. Let's go. You got it. Make sure those abs are turned on. So remember, we're not trying to tilt the pelvis here. Pelvis is trying to stay pretty neutral. We're just working the backside of the legs here. And the glutes. Beautiful. Beautiful. You got this. Excellent. Ooh, we got about 18 seconds left. Come on. Beautiful. 10 nine eight seven come on five four three two and one oh my goodness thank you ha 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 thank you thank you thank you so much that was great work everyone beautiful all right let's take a little knees to chest here and just give ourselves a little a little stretch in the low back oh beautiful all right Let's get into some core. Let's take that right leg out long. All right, let's switch sides. Pull that right knee in, leg, leg long, and reach. Alternate sides. Pull it in. Keep your upper body down just to start. Now, as you're bringing that leg in, I want you to imagine you're using that core to pull the knee in towards center. Try not to let your low back flatten. Beautiful. Now, I want you to lengthen the back of your neck. Exhale, lift. Beautiful. Beautiful, open wide through the elbows, pull the knee in, use the core, lengthen out, pull up through the upper body, using the core to lift you up, not your neck. If your neck gets tired, set it down to the floor. Beautiful, stay with me. We're gonna go in for another 10 more seconds, but we're gonna pick up our tempo. Here we go, three, two, one, let's go. Four, good, three, two, one, and bring both knees in towards the chest. Nice job, beautiful. All right, re reach that right leg up to the sky. <sighs> right arm up, lower. As you exhale, lift your upper body, reach towards your toe. Lower and lift, lower and lift. I'm gonna set my left foot down, knee bent, reach. I'm gonna take my hand behind my left head, my left side of my head and reach to support my neck. <sighs> Good. Now, if you don't feel like you need that left arm behind the head, you can leave it. I felt me. I felt myself kind of going into my neck a little bit. So I'm going to just support my back. Beautiful. Stay here for 10. Beautiful. Good. 
three. And we're going to keep that right leg up. Two and one. Beautiful. Keep the right leg up. Left your, leave your hands down at your side. I want you to point your toe. And I want you to create some small circles. I want you to imagine you've got command center at your belly button. And all the work in your upper body to avoid any sort of shifting from side to side is coming from your command center. Beautiful. Stay here for 10, and then we're going to reverse our direction. Beautiful. Four, three, two, one, and reverse. Opposite direction might feel very different. If your leg is getting a little tired, feel free to bend it. Give it a little break. Fantastic. Energize through that leg. Make sure nothing's moving but your leg. 10. You've got it. Good. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Bend that right knee. Let your left ankle rest on your left. Hands come behind the head. We're going to inhale to lengthen the back of the neck. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Keep that right knee nice and open. Again, feel heavy in the hands with the head. Let the head just kind of rest there. Focus on the core. Knees open to open up that hip. Excellent. You've got it. Nice job. Beautiful. Keep going for 10, 9, 8, 3, 2, and 1. Rest back down. Unwind your right from your left. Fantastic. Keep your right foot down. Take your left leg up and your left arm. We're going to lengthen the back of the neck. As we're going to lower, we're going to reach arm and leg long. Exhale, lift upper body along with the arm, reaching towards the toes. Try to avoid that chin tucking into the chest. Let the neck kind of follow the rest of the spine. <sighs> Working those obliques here. Beautiful. Nice big inhales and exhales. Great. Keep it going. Excellent. Great. Let's keep here for 10. Great. Five, four, three, two. And one, nice job, set yourself down, fantastic. All right, let's bring that left leg up towards the sky, rest your arms, point the toes, neutral spine. We're gonna start our circles, starting clockwise. So this is actually a fundamental Pilates, mat Pilates exercise. And I have to tell you, when I first did it, I was like, this is easy. I can move my leg all day long. But it's totally different when you focus on the core doing the work. So if I'm using my core to control this movement, to make sure nothing in my sacrum is moving or my pelvis is moving, suddenly I've got a lot more core engagement there. So remember, this is not about the leg. This is really about the core. All right, stay here for five, four, three, two one reverse and you'll notice i'm doing kind of some small circles here really focusing on keeping it nice and precise so that i'm not kind of throwing my pelvis side to side here with a big giant circle good stay with me for eight seven six five four three two and one rest your foot down fantastic nice job all right, we're going to bring our hands back behind our head, and we're going to go into some cocoons, but we're going to start off with some straight up chest lifts here. Make sure your spine is neutral, your low back's not flattening down into the ground as you lift up. Your spine should have that natural curve in it. Lengthen the back of the neck, exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Now we're going to take our legs up to 90 degrees, we're bringing ourselves into a little cocoon where our knees kind of come towards our forehead and our forehead comes towards our knees, and then we release the knees back to its original spot. 
Stay here with me. Make sure you're focusing on that rectus abdominis, center of your abdomen. Relax your shoulders. Nice job. Keep going. Beautiful. All right, we're going to take it up in five, four, three, two, one. Lift the legs in and out. Beautiful. So it's a little reverse crunch with that pelvis, using the low abs to pull it back in. Stay here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and set your feet back down and relax. Nice job. Woo! Excellent. All right, let's get readjusted here. Back to your neutral spine. Inhale, lift your head, lengthen it out. Exhale, pull that right shoulder towards that left knee. Alternate sides. You're always welcome to go into bicycles. If you want something a little more intense, feel free to pick up that tempo too. That's always an option. Glue the sacrum down. Beautiful. Excellent, we're almost there. Beautiful. Fantastic. Stay here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Nice job and relax. Well done. Woo. All right. Let's rock ourselves up and let's find ourselves on our sits bones here. All right. So we're going to take a little weight here. We're gonna do a half roll down. You're welcome to do this without any weight as well. So you don't need a weight for this. I'm gonna use one, but you don't need to. So arms are gonna outstretch, spine is long, and I'm sitting up right on my sits bones here. I'm gonna roll halfway down, exhale, lift. Shoulders are square. I'm really not powering through my legs at all, just using my upper body. Gazes forward right upon the horizon here. <sighs> nice. <clears throat> Inhale to lean back. Exhale. <sighs> Beautiful. Now I don't want you to strain through the jaw or the, the chest here. So try to soften that space. Just find that rhythm. <sighs> Fantastic. About 15 seconds left. <sighs> Beautiful. Good. Eight seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Nice job. Fantastic. Well done. All righty. Let's go ahead and take this onto our tummy for a little bit of extension. So we're going to do some locusts today. Um, Always optional to do a little bit more of a swan dive prep where your arms are at 90 degrees, uh, go posted and you're just gonna lift up into your extension if locust doesn't feel good for you. So let's go ahead and make our way down to the floor. I'll describe both just real quick, just in case we forgot. So 90 degree elbows are a bit below the shoulders, gazes down to the floor. Always roll the shoulder blades back, pull up through the abs, and turn on the glutes. Feet are hip distance apart. I'm going to press into the top of the feet. We'll inhale to lift, exhale to lower. Now that's the swan dive prep. And you're using a little bit of that effort in the hands to help lift up the back of the body here, strengthen the muscles along the spine. If you want to, locust, rolling the shoulder blades back and down. Palms are going to reach towards the sky and the fingertips towards the, the toes. Pull up through the abs. We're going to lift and lower. We're going to go about 12 of these. Good. Now make sure you keep those shoulder blades back and down. Beautiful. Make sure abs are turned down, glutes are turned on. Nice job. That's it. You got it. Beautiful. Two more. Last one. 
Beautiful and rest. Woo. All right, shift back onto your heels into a little, a little child's pose here. Nice job. All right, let's finish up with a plank. You choose your version. Uh, forearm push up. You want to add a little extra oomph to it. Go ahead, rocking forward and back, step outs, whatever feels great for you. Let's get it done. Last 45. Here we go. Three, two, one. Here we go. Fifteen. Ten seconds. Come on. Let's do this. Great. Five, four, three, two, one. Set your knees down. Press back. Nice job, everyone. Ooh, let's take a couple of breaths here. Well done. All right, fantastic. As slowly as possible, let's just shift forward and let's make our way into a standing position. You can transition through downward dog, however you want to get there. Just don't rush. <sighs> Beautiful. All righty. Lovely, love that. Nice job, everyone. All right, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start off a little hip opener. So high lunge here, bend into that front knee, gonna open up that right hip here, take the right arm up to the sky, lean over gently towards the left. So giving the psoas a little stretch here. Lift up through the belly, strong through the crown of the head. So the head is lifting up, your upper body is nice and kind of in its normal length and position. Good. Come back through center. Bring that right foot forward, left foot back. High lunge, so both heels are down to the ground. Front knee is bent. Lift up that left arm. You're gonna get that psoas, and then lean over, and that's just gonna fire that up really gently. All right, terrific. Make your way back in through center, release the left arm, come back in towards the center of your mat. Let's go ahead and reach the arms long. From here, release the right arm down to the right side and just lean over. Make sure you get that little lift in the belly. It's so tempting, and I can tell you, I catch myself doing this a lot of the time. So you gotta imagine what's happening to the spine there. You got a little rotation, a little forward flexion, probably not ideal for the vertebrae. So think always about I don't want to quite say between two panes of glass, but that you're trying to stay as upright as possible. Terrific. Release the left arm, extend the right arm up, and then lean over to the other side. Great. And then back through center. Excellent job. All right. Let's go ahead. Quad stretch. Right foot, right hand. Tracking both knees with each other. Great, go ahead and release the right foot back. Pyramid pose, both feet are facing forward. Back is nice and long, reach up. Exhale, kick from the hips, lean in. Rest your hands on the upper thigh of the left. Now, if you wanna go in a little deeper, feel free, but I want you to be careful that you're not lunging forward and locking into that knee. So just be mindful. You can lean in forward, it's gonna pull and give that hamstring a nice little stretch but just be careful for the knee joints. Terrific, lean up tall, use the hamstrings and the glutes. Let's go ahead and stretch the left side of the body. <sighs> Fabulous, go ahead, release that left leg long, both feet face forward. 
Inhale, scoop. Exhale, hinge from the hips, lean in, resting the hands on the right thigh. You can kind of feel a difference when you start to kick that hip back. It really gives you a little bit of different sensation through the hamstrings there. Terrific. Beautiful. Let's make our way up. Nice job. Great. Shake out the neck. Roll the shoulder blades back a few times. Fantastic. Let's go ahead. Open up the arms overhead. And then as you exhale, externally rotate the palms. Reach behind you. Interlace the fingers. Roll the shoulder blades back. A little bit of a chest lift here. Beautiful. Release the hands. Sweep them forward. Interlace the fingers. Press away. Round the chest. Drop the chin. Now, being careful always with the neck here. If you're feeling any tension in the neck, don't let it drop down. Just keep your gaze forward. Just breathe in, releasing if it does feel okay. Good. Begin first by lifting the chin, then release the arms to the side. Fantastic. Let's finish off with a nice big inhale and exhale to close this off. When you're ready, take an inhale. Palms pressed together. Exhale to your heart center. And I want you to give yourself a huge round of applause because you're amazing. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope to see you again soon. Thank you and have a good evening. Bye, everyone.